Hi friend, do you have a really powerful video light and need to tame that with an inexpensive diffuser? Well, I may just have what you need. Stay tuned. Right, okay, first things first, it is a sweaty one today. I've actually literally just finished watching uh, Chris's latest video, Chris at uh, Chris Watkins Media, link below. Uh, he's got a bit of a sweat on in his as well, so I don't feel too bad. It's like 4,000 degrees outside. He is smashing YouTube right now. Uh, link in the description below. Big shout out to him as well. He and his wife are expecting their first baby, so congratulations. We all know what you've been up to during lockdown. But no, seriously, he's a lovely bloke. Uh, we're back and forth quite a lot. Massive congratulations, buddy, and I hope that mommy and baby are well. With that soppy stuff out of the way, let's get on with it. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're looking at the 37 inch softbox with grid from Godox. If you saw a recent review for the VL150 light, you'll have seen a little bit of it in that video. If you're looking for a bones mount light, but without that jet engine style fan, because well, you need it for audio too, check that in the review here. I'll link it below and at the end of the video too. Everything comes neatly packaged in this zipped up case. In the case, you'll find the large skirt, the Bowen's mounting bracket, the second smaller skirt, first layer of diffusion, the second layer of diffusion, the grid diffuser, the metal bracing poles, and of course the silica gel. Yeah, there are no instructions with this. You're on your own. Correction, I was on my own. Well, with my wife telling me what to do. You have got me. I'll show you how to set it up. Don't worry. So we start with the Bowens mount and the larger of the two skirts. This, along with the rods, is going to create the main housing of the softbox. So start with the Bowens mount in the middle, showing the numbers on the holes and the skirt around the outside with the reflective side up towards you. It doesn't really sit too well at first and looks quite a mess, but that's what the rods are for. So first off, place one of the rods into one of the sleeves along the outside of the skirt. Now these sleeves can be quite tricky at first, but over time they will loosen. I'd suggest using like a screwdriver or a pen to open them up a little bit, not too much, but you know, if you're having a bit of trouble at first. Place the other end in one of the holes on the bracket that you feel corresponds to the sleeve on the skirt. It can be a little bit trial and error here, but don't worry, you're not going to break anything if you put it in the wrong one. I like to build this up using the opposite side technique. That way you're not putting too much strain on one side at any time. And this gets tight, so get ready to force it a little bit. So repeating on the opposite side to the first one, do the same. With the first two in, you can then start building around it. If you push down a little bit when pushing the rods into the mount, you'll find that you get the right angle for the hole to take it. See here, now I've got the fourth one in, I can see that the second one doesn't properly line up, but I've ignored that as a little bit later on we'll get definite confirmation of which rods need to move. That's better, you want the rods to run pretty much along the seams of the skirt. To be sure you're in the right configuration, take a look at the close up here. Honestly, that may have seemed like quite an arduous task, but it really isn't once you get used to it, and it really doesn't take that long at all. So once all the rods are in place, flip it over and it's onto the smaller skirt. All the way around, you can see a thin piece of Velcro for this to stick to, and also one part overlaps to help with maneuvering it when attaching it to the Bowens bracket on your light. Back over and time for the first level of diffusion. Connected to the large skirt along the same lines as the rods are these short pieces of Velcro perfectly placed to install the small diffusion panel so it marries up with the shape and sits nicely away from where the LED light chip will be. Attaching with opposite ends again is best to make sure it's in the right position. Once that's in, the outer diffusion can be installed and it's cut precisely so although the Velcro on the end of the skirt is thick, make sure you're sticking the diffuser to the further in portion of the Velcro. Why? Well, because the rest of the thickness is to take the grid on top. And I love this thing. Although looking as messy as a fishing net when you first get it out, you soon realize that rather than one continuous hem around the outside, it's split into lengths. Lengths that fit with each of the straight edges on the remainder of the Velcro on the skirt. Once that's on, time to mount it. And as you can see, that fold over flap created by the smaller skirt allows you to get your hand in there and grip the mount so you can click it confidently into place. 
And with all that on, even with the VL150 at 100%, the diffusion is very effective. Dial it down to 50% and when you take off the grid, you can see just how much spill that piece of net cuts down. A quality softbox that not only looks the business, but what does the same job as something two to three times more expensive? This is the one. I love it. I'm using it now with the VL150 like in the last video. It's lightweight, breaks down for a really easily managed compact carry, and it's not going to break the bank. As always, affiliate links below if you'd like to pick one of these up and support the channel at the same time. Two birds. If you found this video helpful, a little like on the channel does go a very long way. And if this kind of thing is your bag, we have a load more where that came from, both previous videos and more to come. So why not subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss out. That's it for this one. My name is Adam. This is Musing of a Man. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.